the beginning of season 10. Mm. Holly J is just coming back from New York. She's on a high. She's feeling like she can do anything. She had a great internship, good boyfriend. She finds very quickly that when she goes back to Degrassi, uh, she's going to have to work a little bit harder to make her great 12 year success. That's true. That's, I don't know, it feels like you answered that question before. <laughs> Sav uh, has lost all his friends. Very uh, parallel to myself, Raymond, on set. Dalmar, Jamie, Shane, Scott, all of these guys are no longer here at Degrassi, and neither are their characters Johnny, Spinner, Danny, Peter. Um, so I, Raymond, and Sav have both felt kind of abandoned a little bit uh, at the beginning of season 10. And so Sav, on his se senior year, is trying to, when he should be kind of king of the school, he feels like he's still trying to find his way and, stay above water, so uh, that's where Sad's at. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I am a little bit similar to Sad this year, more so than in the past, because yeah, like a lot of my friends in real life are my friends on the show, so them not being here is like, I'm seeing a lot less of them in my real life uh, than I usually so yeah, I feel like a little bit like Sav when he's still trying to find some new friends and figure out who his real friends are all in one year. I feel like there's some serious parallels there. And as for me, um, in the past I really haven't shared much in common with Holly J just because I felt like when I was in high school I started just flying under the radar. Everyone is pretty friendly so I had a, a lot of friends in high school and Holly J obviously was hated, universally despised. Yes. Um, and I wasn't a cheerleader, so that was kind of fun because I got to live vicariously through Holly J uh, and be president of the school and do all that stuff that I didn't do in high school. Um, but now, like like Raymond said, Holly J is probably the closest that, like the most similar she's ever been to me, Charlotte, only because she's like into politics and sort of the stuff, the route that she's going post-secondary is something that I would consider very interesting and admirable. So. I see, I see some similarities there. Yeah, it's really like a testament to the writers of Degrassi. I think over the course of the past four years, or mm -hmm. uh, this being the fourth year, they've really gotten to know us, and uh, they've really made a lot of the character our real, our real lives. So. And there's lots of characters that have stayed sort of static, but I feel like our two characters, I mean, I can speak for myself, I feel like Holy J has gone through quite a big art. Transformation. For yeah, sure. so, but it's like all been very natural and understandable, I guess. Yeah. So. Done very well. Uh, so speaking of politics, uh, Holly J and Ray, uh, Raymond, Holly J and Sav uh, end up running against each other for school president. So Holly J pretty much thought she had it in the bag and then Sav gets it in his head that pea brain he, mind. his pea brain mind the crazy crazy idea that he might be more popular and better at this job than Holly J. So that leads for some you know whatever hilarity ensues. Holly J comes up with a, with a crazy harebrained scheme to make him lose the bid for presidency and uh, Sav ultimately gets that and then Holly J being the VP so it's quite a change for her but obviously the power is sexy. You're number two. I'm number two. Yeah. P brain mind. Basically, uh, the highlights from that whole segment that you just heard was P brain mind, which for Sav, it's P brain mind. Um, hair brain scheme. <laughs> um, hilarity ensues. <laughs> These are the key issues. Yeah. Take them home, study them, there's a test tomorrow.